Hello. Today I want to tell you about my workshop vacuum cleaner filter system. The problem with the RC hobby is that you have a large variety of dust. You have large metal chips from the drill press or a saw. You have, uh, this is the main problem, you have uh, materials like carbon fiber, glass fiber and if you grind those then uh, you get very aggressive and very fine dust which is very bad for your lung. So, the obvious solution is a vacuum cleaner like this one, but uh, with a normal standard filter you have the problem that it gets clogged easily and that it loses suction and then you don't want to use it anymore and well, I found a workaround for this. So, basically what you need are two Aqua Jumbo buckets which are already meant to be pre-filters for uh, pet hair or ashes from the oven or something like this. But I uh, changed them a little. So first I have a filter for uh, very rough dust like metal chips or larger particles and it works similar to um, a cyclone filter. So we have a thing here in between with 262 millimeter diameter. I made it from corrugated plastic but every material is suitable here. And the main thing is the lid. So basically uh, this thing has an inlet here and an outlet on the other side. They are not connected as it would seem. Here you can see it. No connection in the middle. So what you basically have on the one side is a 40 millimeter pipe. It's a normal drainage pipe like you find in your hardware store. And a 40 millimeter right angle piece. Here is the outlet and it's near the top so that it doesn't catch any dust. The dust I want to stay in the bucket. So um, I got a small 90 degree piece here and one with a funnel like and so that the suction and the aerodynamic flow is better inside and they are connected with gaffer tape. And here you can maybe see it. There's a little rubber seal inside. So what happens here is that the dust makes a centrifugal motion so it gets the particles get pushed to the outside fall through these holes and stay at the bottom and then I have to put it in the thrash bin every now and then so I can close the lid now like this so the more interesting part is this water filter here so to filter fine dust out of the air it is a uh, very good measure to um, lead it through water so that the dust gets caught by the water and the clean air gets out and after many trials and errors I have a good solution which looks like this so what you basically have is the inlet here and from here it goes through this 40 millimeter pipe again like in the other one and again you have a 90 degree angle piece and these are followed by two other 90 degree angle pieces but those have a bigger diameter the small ones here are 40 millimeters and this one are 50 millimeters they're bolted together with stainless steel bolts and i removed the rubber seal here and because of the diameter difference you have a kind of gap here which allows water to enter and here in this area uh, which can be called a diffusion chamber of sorts the air gets mixed with the dust and the, um, the air is already mixed with dust but the water which enters here gets also in this mixture it catches the dust and then the whole stuff is sprayed in here and this one uh, makes the air slow down because it has a bigger diameter and so uh, the air, the clean air and the water mixed with dust exits here at a low speed and it doesn't spray around so much and this allows this snorkel piece which is also similar, uh, identical to the other bucket uh, to draw clean air from the top so you basically have it enter here like this here comes water into the mixture, here the dust bonds with water, and here exits clean air and 
water mixed with dust. So I will install it now in here. That's the second stage of the filter. That's a bit difficult to work one handed and with one hand on the camera. But I think it works like this. Perfect, like this. So now I'll connect these. This is a little makeshift solution, but it works very well, so I don't change it. And then I have the main hose of the vacuum, which I connect here. And here I connect the main hose, let me clean that off a little. Here I connect the main hose I use for cleaning. So the hose gets around here and I put it in my grinder or somewhere else where I need to get dust removed. So before I switch it on and all hell breaks loose, I want to have to remember this place here. You can't see it right now, but here you can see the end of the large pipe where the water with the dust and the air exits. And you can clearly see it as soon as I switch it on, which I will do in a second. I think you could pretty well see the water going out on this place and it was rather concentrated on this part which means there was no light spray going everywhere but it was rather the water concentrated and the air flowed freely like this and the whole water mixture was not constantly stirred and bubbly as I had in one previous design don't search it I don't have a video of it and this one seems to be pretty well working so we're gonna have a look at the exit hose here. There are just one or two drops of water, nothing serious. So it doesn't mess up the vacuum from inside. So this all stays very dry. We can have a look inside the vacuum. Here we see it. Here is where the air arrives. It dries a bone, nowhere any water to be seen. And uh, to be precise, this filter, I'm using it with uh, the predecessor of uh, my filter. It's going for, I think, over two years now. And I have checked it from the inside. Here you can see it's all clean no dust to be seen anywhere so it gets above 99 percent or even would say extremely close to 100 percent of the dust is caught in these filters which means i will likely never have to remove or to exchange the paper filter in here okay that was it i hope i can inspire you a little and uh, one word at the end if you have a wood workshop and you have to deal with a large amount of wood dust then uh, this is not for you so it is just for uh, dust that doesn't decompose very easily so just mainly like metal or fiber dust